Herculanin's arrival to Genshin Impact is kind of concerning. Why I say that is because Genshin Impact 5.0 already has some pretty amazing characters such as Moilani and Kinnich, as well as the four-star character Kachina. They're all pretty good. I say these are one of the greatest like straight up characters that have come out in a while and I think they're just going to get even crazier from here. With the release of Sheila Nen, she is going to be not only an amazing support character and or healer and or DPS, she is just going to shake up the meta a little bit and have Geo a little bit more places upon the pedestal with the other elements and that's a great thing. The thing that's concerning me these characters are kind of getting out of hand. They're getting a little too good. And I'm seeing a kind of an upward trend in these characters and them getting better and better with each pack. Because 5.1 is coming and Sheila Nen is going to be even better than Moalani that we've already had, than the Kenich that we've already had, and they're just getting better and better in fact i haven't seen a character that does as much as shilonen in a really long time not talking about any of the archons like raiden or nahida or whoever it may be um furina especially right uh, i'm not talking about them okay those are archons of course it'll be pretty good and powerful and strong and have a lot of support this is just a character another character out of the bunch and it's release or her release is like Kazaha and that is the only like thing in my brain because Kaza has a similar thing within his kit right I can find him there we go it's a similar thing it's not an exact thing because he doesn't reduce you know resistance without the artifact set of the Verdescent but not only does he do this with Verdescent but he can also give you a lot of buff. The elemental damage that you absorb, um, or the element that you absorb can get some elemental damage bonus, which is amazing. This is this makes him a really strong character. Genshin hasn't released a character similar to this in a while until Shilonen. Shilonen is going to provide what the Viridescent pretty much provides, except she's going to do it on her own, which means it's going to be pretty awesome to run Shilonen and Kazuha in the same team. But the only problem is that they won't synergize together. So there is that. But other than that, Shilonen is definitely a character that's seemingly just really powerful and because of how strong she is, I'm kind of concerned that everybody's going to have to pull her. She has some cool idol animations, has a lot of value with the here, you know, elements and talent and whatever it is. I just think that she's just generally a cool character, but everybody's going to want to get her if they want. With quotations, she's going to be a must pull. Talked about this in a previous video, whether she is a must pull character or not. Obviously, if you like the character, go for them. If you don't like the character, don't go for them. That's the staple. But if you want your character to deal the absolute most amount of damage, I think Shilinen is going to be in the team that just provides that, just provides that amount of support. Will make you clear whatever content you want. That is already pretty much clearable and very easy, by the way, and just that much easier. And I think with potential release of another game mode that is more challenging than what we have now, that would be nice. But without that, there is no reason to pull on any other character other than the fact that you like them. But Shilunin is definitely a character that makes me wonder what kind of characters we might see in the future. In fact, it might make me question whether Mavuika is going to be the most powerful Archon they release yet. Because she's going to have a Night Soul Blessing like we do with all the rest of the Natalyn cast. And Night Soul Blessing is pretty powerful. Albeit, it needs to be inside of Natalyn. But but the Night Soul Burst can be in any field, in any type of scenario, and even in the Spiral Abyss, it can be activated. So yeah, it's definitely a concerning thing for me, but I think everybody is generally happy. I think everybody wants to see more characters do this, and that is pretty cool to, you know, to see itself. And I think it's an excellent, excellent thing that there are Genshin are finally being a little bit more confident and releasing cool new mechanics, new types of characters, a lot of movement, just something different that we haven't seen in a really long time from the game. And that is 
that is a definite w that is a definite definite w i think this type of trend should continue okay i'm not saying should power creep no, maybe not do that but definitely make characters that are unique that do something of value and they just have some sort of ability in the overworld but yeah definitely an interesting thing but yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about chilling is definitely a concerning character but for the better i think i'm just uh, really wondering whether i have to you know summon on every other character from now on because yeah th that's the trend <laughs> that's the trend that seems to be occurring here so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about are you guys going to be summoning for shilin let me know in the comments i'll see you guys in the next one very soon